hair. <laughs> it's nearly as good as Adelaide. Trip to Melbourne, four goals, three points. What's your immediate reaction to the 90 minutes? Yeah, happy that we got the three points. Um, we knew today could have been a, a very difficult game for us. Um, you know, Western haven't started the season where they would have liked to have. So we, you know, came prepared for the first 20, 25 minutes to be very tough. Um, and the boys, you know, were excellent in that first half. Um, and, you know, the second half, we're a little bit disappointed with, with our performance in the second half. But, you know, Western, you know, came out at us in the second half that what we thought they would have brought in the first half. Very clinical today. I think Western actually outshot you quite handily, but you were the ones that were able to get yourselves on target. What do you think that was down to? Yeah, look, as, you know, we've had, what, five games now, and we've had created a lot of opportunities. And we've done a lot of work on our opportunities that we're creating and make sure that they are um, good opportunities that we can score goals from. The, um, you know, we, at times we've been a bit guilty of just throwing the ball in the box and hoping that it was gonna, we were going to score. So there's been a lot more of a, a, a process on our finishing and on how we w want to finish. Uh, Craig Goodwin, an assist and a goal today. You've talked about wanting to get into Qatar. I don't think that's in doubt anymore. I guess the question now is, do you think he should start against France? Yeah, I don't know. That's up to Arnie. But um, and you know the availability of the, of the players, and you know I think you know some people might say the A League players are disadvantaged, but I think they've got an advantage because they're going to be fresh, um, they're going to be match fit, and they're going to be fresh. You know, all the players that have been playing in Europe, they're going to be going into the into the World Cup with a little bit of fatigue. I, I think. Do you feel like he's sort of perfectly primed to to make an impact? Then I know you said during the week that you thought he was only going to get better and better, and it's a pretty good time to be heading into camp then. Yeah, most definitely. You know, Goody um, had his best season um, ever last season for the club, and that was about a pre-season last year. Um, and I don't know whether he's done it purposely because he's a little bit superstitious, Goody, whether he's done it again to, to miss pre-season so he can have a, a, a good season again, and I hope he does. Just on that, um, I asked Patrick has with us yesterday, one more game to go. You, 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 before the break, you're going to be playing Melbourne Victory. Is there, with Craig effectively we'll find out if he's sealed his spot is there any temptation in terms of his minutes or is it you just go full throttle with the last chance you maybe have have with him you know play as normal yeah look we, we go you know my job is to coach Adelaide United and my job is to to win football matches um so we we um putting our team out to to win the game and if that means good he has to play 90 minutes he plays 90 minutes I mean, it's a fair way to finish off before that world cup break playing mm. Melbourne victory both coming off wins you're in goal-scoring form. How, I guess, how exciting is that as a way to, to lead into the break? Yeah, they're in goal-scoring form as well. You know, they had a very good game on Friday night. Um, we know um, that there were always um, great games to watch. Um, the intensity of these games is a lot higher than normal A-League games. Um, so it's um, going to be a really exciting game. You know, both teams in good form. So, um, you know, hopefully everyone comes to Cooper Stadium next Friday night and gets behind, behind us because it's um, going to be crucial for us to get that support at home. You touched on the second half maybe not as positive as you would have liked. Weston had two goals in that half penalty as well, which Joe produced a very strong save to deny. What do you think defensively you'll need to touch up on during the week before victories in yeah, embarrassment look, of riches come to town? Yeah, look, it's, a, it's a, you know, sticking to our processes and sticking to our philosophy of how we want to play and defend at times. As I said, we just got caught a little bit today um, and more from us not... Um, keeping possession of the ball and being a little bit sloppy with our with our passing, so um, you know it, it's an ongoing process. So you know we um, have a good look at the game and prepare for for victory Friday night. Just on Joe Gauci, obviously the penalty save. There's a really nice double stop he made as well just before um, I think the Prius goal near the mm. end. How, how impressive is he and how high is his ceiling? It, it feels like every time we see him, he gets better. Yeah, look, he um, he's a very young goalkeeper. Um, you know, I think he's only just turned 22 or not quite just yet around that age. So um, he's, what now, 30, 40 A-League games, I think. So um, he's getting better and he will get better and he will make mistakes. I said that um, the other week, he will make mistakes. But um, 
he's our number one goalkeeper and, you know, he's uh, doing exceptionally well and and with his height and, and his confidence and his organisation, uh, excellent. Um, and he'll just keep improving as a young goalkeeper. Have you had any interest from overseas for Joe or do you think you may be at risk of... With, if he keeps improving at the rate he is, somebody might swoop in and steal him away from you. Yeah, there's, there's always that possibility of um, the, you know the club is a club that wants to um, provide opportunities for its young players and give them that platform to go on and be the best that they can be. And if that's you know, and for them to be the best that they can be, that means them playing at the highest level that they can reach. And we fully support that. That's uh, you know a philosophy of the club, and and you know the goalkeeper is no different from that. Um, and I guess, have you any injury concerns you picked up today? Anybody you're expecting to get back for the victory next week? Um, no, no. The, um, everyone, you know, in our squad is um, is fit, other than the long-term injuries. We've got long-term injury um, to Zach Clough and um, Bernardo, but other than that, everyone else is is fit. There's a few, you know, knocks that you get from every game, but other than that, everyone is pulled up okay. No worries. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.